Hey everyone, Rizwan Jagani here with an actually, this is a this is a Wednesday video because I forgot to do this video on Tuesday because I had such a crazy day going on. I did one of my first collaborations with um, Cecily, who is a singer-songwriter in the Washington DC, Maryland area, whom I met at an open mic that I went to last time in Baltimore. And so we did a little viola vocal rendition of Send My Love by Adele, which I'm probably going to be posting sometime this week. And definitely um, check out her page as well, I'll put the, a link in the description. But I wanted to do another review instead of going to my PSA because I wanted to be a little bit of continuity between what I did last week and this week. Or no, two weeks ago and this week. So I'm actually reviewing the second component to my mic amplified electric viola setup that I use on Aguila. And so this is the, the Line 6 G30 Relay. And I got this from Guitar Center in Plano, Texas. Um, I would definitely recommend anybody to go there. Their service is amazing. And an extra special shout out to Chris, who helped me pick out this system. I actually really, really like it. So, the way this works is it's two components. This is the main interface. It has two switches on it. It has the distance one, which is, goes up to 30 feet. If you feel like you might be farther than 30 feet, um, there's one above it. I don't remember the name of it, but I know it goes up to about 100 feet. Um, but this seems to this works for me. Uh, it goes up to 30 feet maximum distance. This is the and um, this is the part that goes into a soundboard at a in an event hall or a DJ's uh, system for like sound and whatnot. And then this will connect to your wireless part via this signal input right here. There's six channels. Right now I have it set to one. The one on the the other part is also set to one, so it's a one-to-one -one thing. And that way you know you're gonna get sound. The way this works is you plug a DC 9 volt cord into this and you plug it in and it automatically turns on. Then you take a quarter inch jack and plug it into the side where it says output. Into, and then plug it into the DJ setup or the soundboard setup, wherever, and you have the interface working. This then, once this is ready, connects to this. This is the wireless component that usually you will see most people have on their waist. That's where I wear mine. Uh, Lindsay Sterling wears hers on her waist too. There's another um, uh, YouTuber. She's a makeup artist more than anything, but she's also a really good violinist named Be Unique, and she uses this exact same thing. Um, I saw some of her videos scrolling past certain things um, just to see her performance stuff and she uses this uh, as well. And so this goes to your waist and then what you do is you take quarter inch cable and you uh, plug it in here uh, into this and then the other part plugs into your instrument and depending on how long your wire is you may just have to maneuver it around a little bit. This little baby is powered by two AA batteries, turns on, turns off obviously. and um, it has two lights on here, one that says uh, like shows the power of your battery and one that shows it's connected. That's a blue light. If it's connected to this, and then you can start like plucking around and seeing if uh, it works or not. I haven't had any issues with this other than maybe once I was performing at a bridal show and I had a... The way the stage was, it was like there was a catwalk because there was also a fashion show with it and then the big stage. So it was like a T, as you know how most uh, fashion shows are. So I was thinking, you know, should I perform more on the stage or should I perform more on the catwalk? So what the DJ had me do is he had me basically walk towards the stage plucking just to see when I was going to beam out as far as um, signal is concerned. I was maybe about three quarters of the way to the stage and I lost signal. So then I had to perform closer to where the DJ setup was, which was actually right across the sort of bass part right here of the T. And so I sort of performed halfway in the catwalk and it, it worked. I didn't have any issues. Um, I didn't uh, lose signal or anything. Um, the only thing I had issues with was with the, the actual pickup, which was I was using a different model. Um, I would probably give this a 4.5 out of 5. Um, I just don't like it's made out of plastic. Um, uh, unless you're throwing it around, obviously it should last, but you know, I was hoping that for the amount I paid for it, I paid almost 200 for this. I was hoping that, you know, it would be made out of metal, which the a higher end one above this is made out of metal. And then maybe like sort of the distance thing. The 30 feet one, I haven't had issues with. I performed at, um, I performed in like halls. I performed in a uh, little art galleries and areas where I've been sort of close to the interface. So I haven't had too many issues with um, losing signal, but that was probably be my only thing. 
I really like this thing. Um, it works for electric guitar. I think that was what its main intention was the picture on the box shows um, electric guitar. But it also works for viola, it works for violin, as Lindsey Sterling and Be Unique uh, do as well. And I um, seem to really, I, I, I like this. So I had one glitch with this as well, uh, where this was on one and then this was on two, so I ended up playing a whole P performance without it. But I guess it was okay because my audio messed up anyway, so I was able to just croon out sound, raw, viola sort of thing, and it worked out just fine. Um, that's about it for this. It's a very, I mean, it was a very cut to the chase review. How did this works? If you're want, if you're wanting to attempt a Lindsey Sterling, or you're going to be playing in an area where you don't want to have a really long chord coming over instrument, or once again avoiding having a mic stand, microphone sort of thing, this is your go-to. And um, I just keep it in a little travel case with me, and sometimes I have my pickup in there as well if I'm not putting it on the instrument. Otherwise, I'm always, I always have this with me. I take it with me to open mics because I sometimes prefer then prefer it over using the long cables. Um, but that's about it. Next week is, is a trackless Tuesday, so I'll probably talk a little bit about the piece that um, Cecily and I did, or maybe something else. I didn't actually write anything down. I mean, she just wrote down lyrics, and I kind of just improved a viola part to accompany her. But I uh, can't wait to see how this video comes out. Actually, I just finished editing it, so it's going to look really, really good. I just have to put a, put together some B-roll for an introduction. And that's about it. So until then, happy Tuesday.